to them. Yeah. I was just spamming it there because, you know, you know, once you only need kills, you know, it's not as bad, you know, so there we go. Good. But yeah, I can use tent up there, basically. So let's just steal there. There is a way to single target right with it, isn't it? And so there, yes, there is. A way to single target. Let's leave the other time, guys, please. Please. Leave her. Please, come, girl. No. I want to do damage to it in case, you know, it decides to hurt her, hurt her, you know. Wait, what was it called? Vargid Pollen? So you hit that and then you hit R1 that you normally if you multi target with all opponents there, you can get single target. But it defaults to single target when basically you don't use the all version or the spell when there's only like one target or you do use the all version, but you know, yeah. If I remember correctly, the way summons level up is like yes, they gain AP, but you gain more AP, I think, if you use it more in battle. Or something like that, if I remember correctly, but I might remember that wrong actually. The thing is, it would have been good if there would have been a way to get like the sleep thing earlier, basically, it would have been really, really good. She's like so hitting stuff. Let's see, can she hit with her melee attack? Yes, you can. Can she hit with her melee attack again? Yes, you can. <laughs> melee attack. Sometimes I don't want to take the risk in case, you know. Sometimes there's a risk that you can miss, you know, but yeah. I'm actually gonna set it to wait. Because sometimes setting it to wait can, yeah can be good sometimes. I just don't want to take a risk here because you can still die to these enemies if you get really really unlucky or if they sleep like several sometimes, you know. So let's see the even. And I'm going to ice all here. And I'm going to hit fire. And the ice is better. And now I think we can kill it with uh, two hits, right? Two hits. Yes. Alright, we can get ethers here as well, which is good. And now we have two ethers. Um, nah, not yet. This is actually a pretty good XP you get here, actually. And now I'm gonna have to open this up here to see. Get off the last. Kind of shocked. I mean, there's a lot still, but sometimes it's just. Um, so much, you know. Few seconds, so it hasn't zoomed in. No, it has not. So, yes. Hmm. Shake here as you can see here. That's how big it is. It's 0 0.4 liters or 0 0.5 liters. So it's basically half a liter. Or 0 0.5 deciliters, I think. Right? It's 10 deciliters on a liter, right? Or is it more than that? I forgot, but yeah. Here, though. If it gets wet, I actually need to clean it up. Actually, 
Hang on a second, wanna... I'm gonna have to get so I can clean it up so it doesn't get wet there, there like the because it's made out of wood and if the wood gets wet it's really bad if certain types of wood get wet so hang on a second. There we go, got some paper now so I can clean it up. And actually today we might just do three hours instead because the thing is that will still be more than enough to upload. The thing is last time or last recording session, the previous Friday recording session, uh, the previous Friday recording session we actually ended up having to to basically like we have had to how do I put it? We had to basically, the first three days, basically Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we had to, add, to upload four clips each day. And then after that, for the rest of the week, up to Thursday, or basically until Thursday, from Monday to Thursday, we had to upload <coughs> two clips each day. And the thing is, if we only record three hours, then we only need to, uh, to upload uh, four clips, I think, on one of the days, and then the rest of the days, we only need to upload two clips. Because the thing is, it's more than enough clips to basically last a whole for a whole week. You know, even if we used to record three hours, but if we, for example, record only two hours or two plus hours, then that would still be eight clips, and that's still enough for one week, basically. Because it's basically, you know, you only need seven clips for it to basically last a week. So then you only upload two clips on one day, and then one clip the rest of the days, basically. You know, so. That's kind of how things work, but we will see, of course, it depends on how far we get and if I wanted, you know, like, you know, grinding here does have some pretty, pretty useful things about it, you know, to, you know, grind in this area because, uh, you know, so I want to sing the target here with that. So, yeah, this encounter is actually pretty good to get. To be honest, um, how much does that use? Yeah, that doesn't... We can have one more encounter, I think. Before I need to use the tent. Unless, of course, I kill it with Tifa instead. But my problem is Tifa only has single target spells. I mean, it's not really that much of an issue to go on the sale. And the thing is, we actually received some pretty, pretty decent XP here. And it would be good to get Claude actually up to level 20 before we advance on. Okay, so she should I saw one. I'm um, either. That was weird, it looked like the thing had disappeared the cursor basically. Actually, let me just move you around here. Oh. That's the annoying thing with how quickly they get to act. The thing is, of course, that the thing, the, the weight thing only works when you're actually in menus and stuff that. Basically, so you need to basically go into a menu for it to work. I might actually change into the blue color eventually and just make this safer depending on how long we grind here. I mean, I'm, we're not that far off from getting the second tier of medics. Now, the second tier of medics right now will be really, really strong uh, and stuff that, and uh, yeah. That's really good. Oops. I'm gonna nice to any survivors if they're running. Yes, 
I really wish they could have made it so you could have stealed and uh, or stolen and stole pendants from somewhere here. that happens, sometimes it's very very easy to panic and things can go completely out of control basically. Yeah, she can hit hard if she doesn't sit front row. But then as you saw, that attack deals 100 damage when in the front row. Actually, I shouldn't have her on Fury actually. Because the level 2 limit break only requires kill, it doesn't require you to actually use doesn't require you to actually use the limit breaks. Um, when you're at the level 2 limit breaks, it only requires you to get kills. Well, the thing is, Fury is only really effective to get you to use the limit breaks more. That makes sense, you know. I'm probably gonna be able to move the water bottle there now. I think I've dried up all of that now. Yeah, it's kind of dry here. I should still have the paper on there for a little bit more, I think. For it to suck it up completely here. I'm just moving this on a pad and you get to come. So you know, but yeah, so basically, um, I did mention that I did clean yesterday. So I'm trying to make it so that I'm gonna be cleaning basically every Thursday. I'm gonna try and clean things, you know, <sighs> and stuff. So yes. Um, let's try and fight all here. We did move her back into the back row, right? <sighs> or maybe not, we will see. Basically, I believe it's something like half damage you take when that starts counting into effect. <sighs> but the thing is, uh, the thing that's great is that it doesn't make you deal less damage from having sadness on. There's absolutely almost no Disadvantage to using sadness, except that limit breaks do feel slow, do feel slower. <sighs> but then the next thing we will be getting, basic ex accessory wise, the next thing we'll be getting is gonna be the protect vest, which actually I feel like the character that has the vitality increase on it will be getting a lot of HP basically. Shit, this might have been bad too. That's what happened otherwise and get like zero points from it, so that's really really bad to do. I should have seen the target there. And the thing is, I mean like you get battles into battles very very quick here. Oh, this is good if we could have been quick enough. But I mean, problem that's the main problem I feel like when you have the speed increase. Of course one thing you could can do is of course set the speed to be really really slow. Which is, if you play there with increased speed, for example, and you face up against the Ruby and Aurora weapon, it's not a good idea to have the speed increase. The speed increase is of course so good to make the to make the thing go up by a lot. Oh, secreted, nice. So 18 is kind of really, really good up there if you consider you know, what, what you can get up there by. Right now, so that all 18 thing is still 18, so 10 battles that's 180 AP if you continue on getting that battle, you know. So, yes, I mean, that's the thing I really like about this place that you know, the encounter rate is pretty, pretty high. I feel like, you know, right, um, stay from it. Okay, one more chance to see. Nice. Go around, please. Thank you. Nice. I really would like to get the level 2 right now. The level 2, if I remember correctly, is. Or there's one of the things that she learns that is a bit annoying because it basically cures all status effects 
and that means it also close away your thank you or your sadness or your blah 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 you know thing let's see from this door so we get tranquilized back I should actually form up 99 tranquilized from that because the thing is later on the uh, fury isn't gonna be as useful the most you want to have tranquilizers on later on especially with things like Vincent Vincent doesn't actually need to use his limit breaks at all Vincent only needs to get kills we can finish it with one attack now, right? No two attacks. So there's basically one hit with one hit with was scimitar dice, there's two attacks, yes. You can start learning or remembering like okay, so this is how many attacks I need to do. Because that's something like the important when you speed running that you kinda know what the HP is without sensing an enemy. But you know it's still I still like sensing enemies even when I know kind of what their HP value is. I mean, I don't know exactly what the numeral value is, but I know like. So I'm gonna thank you guys before I do anything here. 